Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 10th. I'm Sean Coffey. We'll get to our top news stories in just a moment, but first, here's meteorologist Logan Westrope with a look at your forecast. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. Happy Wednesday morning, everyone. Looking like a really nice day with lots of sunshine as we go throughout this morning into this afternoon. Pretty pleasant day. A little bit on the breezy side, though, with that southwesterly wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Highs today reaching into the upper 50s to lower 60s. As we go into tonight, though, things remain pretty quiet for us. Once again, we'll just start to see an increase in some cloud cover. Not as cold as lows are dipping back into the lower to mid 40s. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. We continue to stay pretty quiet for Thursday. We start to see a few more clouds added into the mix, especially for Thursday afternoon. Highs are probably the warmest out of the whole week with highs into the mid to upper 60s. We have a weak cold front move through for Thursday night into Friday with a few light rain showers that starts to clear out by Friday afternoon, but still pretty mild for us, Sean, with highs into the lower 60s. Yeah, beautiful string of weather, Logan. Thank you. Teachers and staff will begin receiving the single dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine this week. Luzerne Intermediate Unit 18 is one of 28 sites preparing to serve as a vaccination clinic. Six shot stations and two observation rooms will be available starting on Friday at 2 p.m. when the first round of vaccinations is scheduled to begin. Vaccines will be administered daily through Tuesday. They expect about 5,000 teachers and staff from Wyoming and Luzerne counties to receive the shots. And on weekends, patients can attend the clinic from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. A second round to complete the shots for other school staff is expected in two to three weeks. Flames force a couple from a home in Luzerne County. The fire broke out just before one this morning on Maple Street in Kingston Township. Crews on scene say the rear of the home was fully involved when firefighters arrived. No one was hurt as a result of the fire and a husband and wife were able to make it out of the residence. The cause of the fire is under investigation in Luzerne County. Well, that does it for now. We'll have more eyewitness news and weather coming up throughout the day. And as always, for the latest breaking news and top headlines, head to our website, pahomepage.com.